<laughs> I'm just gonna play you guys I'm gonna play um the titles so the side of Rachel Forster so apparently the character you're playing as, as is Nicole and Rachel Foster is like the girl your dad is having an affair with and she like around 10 years ago she Recording is ordered sir she died awake? Sort of. and then now we're back at the hotel you could get your coffee for once i don't need it i gotta talk to you about something um okay What what did you want to talk about? Luz? Okay. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. It's nice that we're using this kind of With phone. What are you looking the, at? It doesn't need Someone charges. Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Yeah, maybe Rachel, Rachel is dead. dead. Yeah. I really don't know what to think. It's just that... Look, the storm is dying down. Is my you... game wonky on the screen? <laughs> the game's wonky on the screen. I didn't know why. I don't know why it didn't um, full screen properly. <laughs> Wait, there we go. I'm gonna make sure it's all full screen and nice. We'll leave soon and go back to your life, and you can forget about the whole thing. You did 10 years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long. It might be a big quiet like guy, but just to okay. create this thing with me. Hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, if then you it starts connect the sense. dots, and right now I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. No, we go connect the honey. We we find the honey. Poetry and the stars. Can't see your smile, honey. Today I saw Rachel. There's light everywhere. Rachel doesn't want to do her speech therapy exercises. Rachel says she feels alone. Rachel is sad. I hear you, Rachel. You were right behind me. We'll call him about the book. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. It's so nice that people are still sharing my, my streams. 
Thank you guys. Maybe I try to bring back. What? Why is there pedophilia suddenly? How old was Rachel? Wasn't she like 29? And having an affair with the, the dad? It. I mean, how old was she? We'll talk about Pastor Foster. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. Hey, Ben Dragon. Welcome to the stream. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Sure. Rarely. So... He gives a service once in a while. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Oh, wait, what? She was 16? When the whole affair... Wait, she was 16. <laughs> uh, that's why there was uh, the thing about the pedophilia. Oh my god, look, look at this clipping. It says, um, it says, Coroner confirmed she was nine weeks pregnant. Rachel was nine weeks pregnant. Doc Brown confirmed to the Daily she wasn't engaged with anyone and Pastor Foster affirmed that he did not notice any strange behaviors in Rachel. There's nothing more to say, the MD added. Rachel and Leonard McGrath Rachel became close to Leonard McGrath. L Leonard is Nicole's dad. During the last month, as she spent several hours at the Timberline Hotel in order to correct her dyslexia, the romantic liaison between the 49 years old professor and the teenager has been a secret until McGrath's wife, Claire Wilson, exposed the scandal, eventually fleeing the, from the hotel with the people's daughter, Nicole, from the people's daughter, the couple's daughter, Nicole, a week ago. Rachel Foster, 16 years old, attending high school. We have found a letter with a clear intent to put an end to her life. Okay, so it's day four of me being stuck in this whole hotel. And, um, so we woke up. Apparently, through the night, Nicole arranged all the stuff on the walls, suspecting that Rachel might still be actually alive. Really, nothing else. Oh, what? I 
imagine you're locked up in a room full of moose head mounts and a fat secretary who brings you reports about cats stuck on trees. Let me guess. Mindy? <laughs> Windy. No way! Her name is Windy. She's not a fitness freak, and she's my boss. <laughs> oh, God. If anything, I'm the secretary. I bet she works you to the bone. <laughs> no, plus, she's a wildlife freak. Mine's the only head that could end up hanging on the wall. I realized just now, I don't know what you look like. Well, I'd say pretty much a local guy. Wait, don't say anything. I want to think about it, and then I'll come up with an identikit. I thought I was the one that got bored. You do one too, then, and then we'll compare. Uh, okay. But if Wendy finds out... <laughs> It's a good hotel, so no complaining. Well, it was a good hotel. Actually, kind of big. There's lots of rooms. It's given the fact that it's been abandoned for 10 years, it's actually standing pretty good. The, just the second floor is kind of run down. They never got to finish construction on this floor. Another staff only, but I don't have, I couldn't open it. The music is really scary. Yeah, so this door is sealed. We don't know how to open it. It says that there was supposed to be construction ongoing, but they never really got to finish it. Right, so some rooms are still open. But I don't really know why it's available and open, you know? Like, is there something that's supposed to be important in that room? Because everywhere else is closed. You don't hear any music? Wait, wait, what? Let me check my game sounds. Maybe it's just not getting through. It's supposed to be okay. I can see that there's music. Can you hear my footsteps? Jeremiah Kazaki. Would it be the first time that you're here or no? No, you've probably been here for a while. Did you change your name? You know, I've been roaming for a while now in the hotel. Actually don't know where to go. Just finding my way back to the office, I guess. There's nothing in the office too. Dad's office. I've been here for a while already, just to visit the opens. Twitch. 
I'm glad that when you got time tonight, you decided to drop by my stream. Thank you. So after the whole scandal with a 16-year-old girl, they, the mom like took them away from the hotel. And they've never had, I guess they've never really had any interaction afterwards. They never really kept in touch, I guess. I hear the keyboard, mouse, voices of the characters a bit low. Huh. So it is there, but it's just low. I'm gonna like just max everything, I guess. Well, no, I won't max everything because if I do that, I might, you know, I might get scared. <laughs> But it should be better now. Yeah. Probably the game or my settings. So I don't know exactly where to go now. I am back inside the master suite this is where i sleep i wonder why like all the cleaning stuff cleaners sponges cleaning powder they're interactable for some reason See, even the toothpaste. Are they sponsors or something? Telephone. You know, it was very weird. He called the hotel phone, which is usually, you know, just an outgoing call, right? It doesn't necessarily do, it doesn't necessarily receive phone calls. You just use it to do outbound calls, right? Somebody called the hotel telephone to say that Rachel's still alive. She Rachel is still somewhere inside the hotel, so don't sell the hotel, it says. self-esteem she used to play hockey what a scary notebook i don't know where to go exactly just roam around the hotel because you know what if i get stuck in like a hotel for four days i would have just stored all the food somewhere here in the kitchen right and then i'll stay here for four days i wouldn't throw around everywhere trying to get clues about the dead girl i mean what are you supposed to know about a dead girl except that you know she's already dead 
Except if you were... Yeah, there's like, it's it's only going to go one way. You find out that she's not exactly really dead, or that you find out that she is really, really, really dead. But both... Both of those options really doesn't, you know, it really doesn't, like... Doesn't sound good. Nice bathtub. Okay. Okay. So this is the room with the nice bathtub. But I don't... Just like the other room. The red room with the nice pillows. I don't really see why... We need, we are able to get to that room. Like I don't understand why. Can we go inside the ballroom? What's that? What was that? So there is something in the game that creaks, that makes kind of like a radio sound. So there's a sitting room and then here's the ballroom. The chandelier is down. Bottle of tequila. See, we have bottle of tequila for days. I could just like get drunk and then forget that the time ever really passes. It's actually kind of a nice place to be. Sadden. Restroom, fireplace room, and then this one goes up the first floor. Back into the staff area. Game capture. Hi, Nya! Papa Kapa! Is it probably because I'm in this court? Yeah, the, the sound's actually pretty low. I can see it, but it is pretty low. Maybe it's in my computer. Wait. Mix volume. I have it, I think, at 30%. No, it's actually kind of loud. Okay. I raised the volume up. But I'm going to lower it way down on my headset. Because the sounds is kind of... Yeah, calls smite lower sound. A lot of jump scares this game has. I, I believe it has some jump scares. I kind of saw on some reviews. Like when you search the title of the game. It kind of says. It, it says something like. There could be. There could be jump scares. But I didn't really hang around to find out. So this floor, this is like the main, 
I don't know, the main hall? The lobby, this is the lobby. The reception area. And then you have the ballroom over there, the dining area over there. The offices are over here. This one goes to the game room, I guess. Yeah, there's a game room. Something's like creaking, I can't. So they have this mini game room basement. And then you have the, what happened? I'm just still roaming around. I, I actually don't know what happens yet. So the boiler room, we don't really need to be in there. My car, I can't use it. Oh. It's like when you step in it, it makes a loud thud and I get, it gets me every time. As long as we don't trigger the monster, what? There's a monster. Why is it called a witch pipe? Like, it, it's a fireplace. Then they have the TV. And what is this room? Ah, uh, just the kitchen and the bathrooms. You know, I am scared to wander inside. It, it, it's wet. It's wet.
don't want to go in there anymore. I wonder, you know, since we're here, if she ever has to go to the to the comfort room. Does she use that comfort room? But I, I doubt it. She's probably gonna use the one at the master suite. We've been in the dining room. We've been everywhere. So we go to the first floor. Can we go. The rooms are over here. And this is the overlooking. You, I remember you playing a horror game. You were crying. Wow, that was a long time ago. If I'm not mistaken, you're probably remembering Outlast when I tried to play it. I did end up crying, but I finished the game. I finished it. So this is the dining room. That goes into the kitchen. We've been here. We've been here before. Oh, what's this area? I have I don't remember this area. There are lockers. Ah, uh, okay, it's just an area going to the storage and the back doors yeah so many doors well obviously you can't open the door to the outside because there's a big snowstorm see that there's a storm so uh we're stuck here Yeah, I mean, it's a hotel. It's a hotel. We could definitely chill here. As long as there's strong Wi-Fi. Don't they provide Wi-Fi in hotels now? I don't think there's strong Wi-Fi in this hotel, given that the setting is before there's internet. At least a good meal. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, guy. There's another notebook. You know, I don't really, I have no idea what we are aiming to do here on this day, day four. Oh, I can zoom in. I can zoom in. Hey, Tell Mama. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, they do. What happening? Probably wait until the what? No. the lipstick it's because there's like a girl still living here apparently for 10 years so that makes her what 26 because she was 16 she was 16 right 
Glenda Ferguson, I saw Rachel in the Timberline Hotel. 29 years old girl from Great Falls claims she saw her Rachel Foster, her schoolmate, suicidal 1981 in a corridor at the first floor of the Timberline Hotel. But she ran away without saying nothing. She tried to approach her, but she went away. She also added, I don't know how it's possible, but I was it was definitely Rachel. This was just the last episode of the most famous love and death story in the county. Rachel committed suicide after her appear with Leonard McGrath, 30 years older than the teenager, was exposed to the public. We tried to speak with Rachel's father, Shepard Foster, but he refused. Someone says that the young girl is still alive. Creepy. Yes, it is. What? What, what are we going to report? This is why you just have to report everything. I just gave you a tour of the whole hotel. What's the non-official version? I think I hear whispers. Is that the phone? Whispers. They're whispering. <laughs> So can you hear the sounds now? I'm in the mood for some chips, but I don't really have any chips. Hey, thank you so much for the cheers, Juanito. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you had the stream on on hub? So okay, that was day four. All I need to do was to stay in that room and just you know interact on everything there. I didn't have to run around. <laughs> what? What? What the F? Daddy? What? Why is he? I don't understand him.
Okay, the sounds are coming from the mic. So you're not hearing my game sounds? I have the game sounds on. Oh no. What happened to everything? Wait one sec. I wonder if this helps. Say it again, please. Can you hear it now? I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Okay, on your end. <gasps> so it was just that after all. Oh, the capture card was messing with my audio. Oh my god, thanks for telling me. Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of, well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. So this is yeah, the... True. I want well, strawberry true. cake too, please. Thank you. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's getting So we go to room one, one, seven? I told you. Is that what it no says? Tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. Well, Stop fucking seven, then. around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it, too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap. You're freaking me Holy out. shit. There it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear. Yes. I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike.
What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. We've been there! 117, yeah. We've been there in that Same room! Same floor as my apartment. Are there any matches scheduled for the local team? Uh, I'm afraid there is no local team. I remember they were talking about starting a Helena hockey team ten years ago. No team. I Since don't. when are you interested in hockey? Oh, I played hockey when I lived here. Wow. You could even start playing again. Doubt it. Actually, my old stick should be around here somewhere. I'd like to take that back. I didn't see it in my room. This is room 117. We I, saw this. I found earlier. the room. But. Yo, Devon's really it good. L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Did Bust you enjoy the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably, Probably in, in the, the basement. basement, yeah. It seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Yeah, I saw one too. There, it was like a workshop table. You know, it's kind of quiet outside. Maybe the storm's gone. Or maybe it's just very early in the morning. Yeah, Javan's really, really good. Uh, found the screwdriver? No. I can't believe it. What a bunch of clowns. In Leonard's hotel. Here. Well, I can see why you're pissed. They must have shown up between deliveries. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. For me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. <laughs> is that your line? Maybe, no, I don't know. But that's the idea. Screwdriver. I'm out of here. So there's a toolbox, but you can't open it. There should be a screwdriver by the toolbox, right? Locker room. Radio. This is the... Wait, we got it! So we're going to go back to the room. Maybe the ghost is blocking your ear. Probably not, because I'm wearing headphones. So if he's blocking my ear, then he would be inside my ear. So, uh, we're gonna do this. I don't wanna be opening up no ghosts. You know what? Even without the jump scares, just the... Just the atmosphere in office kind of scary for me. Like... You wouldn't even need to jump scare me anymore in this game. I'm already nervous. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open the haunted room. 
Suddenly the the sounds became so creepy. Yo, they have they legit have ghost hunter stuff here. They're just running around the <laughs> Like the girl is like just running around. What? Am I supposed to see some? I'm still stuck here, I don't... I'm scared! <laughs> Am I not supposed to call... Um, my agent? The agent? The guy? <laughs> Let the fun begin. Wait, have you have you watched this before? Have you have you played this game before? I swear, if there's a jump scare, I'm gonna end the stream. They left their stuff here. No, no, uh, really, seriously, no, no, no. Is it behind room number one? Ah! What? I'm gonna use a parabolic microphone.
by opening the door, I guess. So we're gonna. <gasps> For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Uh, what? Uh, I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Oh, you should be. You're never gonna believe it. Ah! The thing already ended. So the parabolic microphone is just, you know, for fun. If you're curious to listen. Uh, the sounds. Wait, what? Did I put this up? Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home. I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. That's very suspicious. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're not a stranger. We we've never met, Irving. I can't even picture your face. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well... I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> what tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yep, I probably would never have said that either two days ago. Maybe once this whole thing is over, we could... Uh, we? Me? You? Us? We'll see. It's sure gonna feel weird not to talk to you at least once a day. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. I got myself you have a, a good date. night too, Miss Flattery! Merry Christmas! Good night, hon! Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... That sound. Was it on your end? No. What are you talking about? Like a... clinking. Uh... no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. We are hearing like Christmassy sounds. Well, where where could it be coming from then? Oh, 
suddenly it's quiet. Oh, look at that. I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. We have to check something outside, I guess? I, I I wanted to tell you something. Not now. I heard a sound. Something familiar. Listen, I've had this in my head for a while. I, I don't know. I, I seem to sense a sort of chemistry. Are you trying to tell me something, Irving? Something embarrassing, maybe? I can understand that you can't stand the side of the Timberline. Not even on a postcard, but... But for me, this is important. It's given me the chance to You've been to a lot of help, and I'm happy you're here, but right now I need to figure this out. Sorry. But somehow, it would be nice if, after this whole thing, we could meet in person, have a drink. I mean, if I'm going too fast, just say no, so probably... Irving! I know it's ridiculous to ask out someone you've never even seen, but people get close in lots of ways. Please! Shh! A sec. Okay, okay, maybe I crossed the line. Sorry, I'm a klutz sometimes and- Irving, please shut the fuck up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this. But now just give me time to figure out where the sound is coming from. I'll call you back. I... Sure. Sorry. I don't even know where to follow the sign. Oh! Oh! Okay. It's from coming from the ballroom. You see, there's no sound here. Oh, now I'm hearing whispers. Am I going crazy? Irving, you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was, uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What'd you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. anything I can't hear that sound anymore it's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there maybe it's not me it's this hotel I I didn't hear you you know for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that we always had a party on December 23rd maybe you heard about it it's pretty well known in the county Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. 
It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. <laughs> Thank you for the water reading. See, there's no sound anymore. <laughs> it just led us into the ballroom to see the picture of the ballroom. Where, you know, during the time when people dances in there. We are eight days in the hotel. The fudge? I, I don't want to play this anymore. We're going to get, like, sacrificed or something? Are we really awake? Bye. Bye. Why is there no reaction from Nicole? Why is there no reaction from Nicole? That we were just sleeping and then suddenly we woke up inside the church. Of all places. Hey, Andrew. No, no, nobody's, nobody's following. Nobody. <laughs> oh my god, Mabel is here. <laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> okay, we're back at the fireplace. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm so scared. It was like, okay, end of day seven, day eight, and then we find ourselves inside the church. I, I was like, oh, okay, forget this. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to my room. Where's my room? What? You know, this is the first time I've seen this. I didn't notice this earlier, this drawing. What's I about? <laughs> You're playing Apex and very sensitive to footsteps <laughs> Irving Merry Christmas Nikki ho 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 okay <laughs> it's a little now we hear Nikki greetings but i expected that what well i i thought you were calling to hey is everything okay yes i mean i, no. I don't think so no nothing's okay what happened i think I sleepwalked. No! Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? 
No, I'm serious. Somebody I, I woke took up you in there. Church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I don't the want to go back there now. Scary. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh Do we have like anything? does the choices yeah. matter in this game? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Does the choices matter in the game? Like if I pick I'm going to go up there, then maybe I'll go inside the church. I have no idea. I I'm like <laughs> I'm trying to be holy shit, it happened. Now there's a direct way to the crawl space. Is that a flashlight? Guys, the church is really calling us. Can you hear that? Depending on how important it is, you can judge if it'll affect the story or not. But the sounds... Even if I say that the church is scary, there are church sounds. It's leading us there. Look. Yeah, the guy seems to be developing feelings for her now. He's asking her for a date earlier, if you recall. He was he was kind of sweet too. I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was a... Oh, was running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. 
He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. You know where this leads to? Uh, no, 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 I don't think this is the right crawl space. It leads upstairs. This could be also planned by him. Maybe a stalker. We really can't trust anyone or in dangerous situations. Especially when only him specifically is on the phone. Why not have other people help, right? Exactly! I'm, I'm, I'm actually suspicious of him from the beginning. And especially, it seems that, you know, Nicole is onto him that he knows stuff too well. She pointed out earlier that he seems to know stuff too well. Like the jam on the freezer door. She just, you know, it's just very suspicious. I have a pretty good idea of the layout of the hotel now. So I pretty much won't get lost anymore. I just need to know where to go. I have to go back to the church. <laughs> I really don't want to. Yeah. I'm, I'm really suspicious of him though. So we go back to the church. It's um... There's this crawl space that leads to the church. Um, where we... Uh, where did I go to get there earlier? Well, no, it's not this part. This just leads outside. There's um, there's a little crawl space, somewhat like a tunnel that leads to the church outside. I'm neck to neck with my internet. Oh no, I hope it stays. Because if it doesn't stay, <laughs> I wouldn't have any company. I think it's over here. I think I'm just running around. It's exactly. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. I found it. 
This is a very, very long way to go for a for a sleepwalk. When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks, but how can I remember it? How it's, I, I, wow. Total mystery. Want to play? Uh, I... Yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. You know, if I was Nicole, I would not have put down that phone. I would always, always just have... I would always, always just have, um... You know, him with me. Someone broke into the church. Some... Fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. Goddamn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, okay. The sleepwalking though. Yo. That butterfly? Well, <laughs> that was perfect. It's like it just showed us the way. Isn't it the riddle? Down the stairs, watch your steps, don't fall apart, it's your end. Round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, but all the skulls can be open too if you see beyond what it looks. Too easy. Oh, shit. And I guess we just have to go in here. This is where Bruno slept, I bet. Yeah. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. Don't talk about Bruno. Oh, shit. So, found the mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I. What if uh, uh, there's some What windows. if Irving is, you know, drawn on the walls? The whole mastermind of this. Books. 
Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. I'm not entirely sure I'm actually awake. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. They should have done that days ago. So have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. You should have done that red... Um, what was that red... Get out of there. You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep Open a your old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. I don't know the about keeping her from panicking. No, no way. I, I'm I panicking. Let me go on. There's a teddy bear. There's a toy. Speech therapy. Like Rachel does speech therapy. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following it. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. So brave. Hey. She would not have thought that that someone probably has a knife. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... Will figure it out with the sheriff once you're out of there I'm into panicking. a hotel room in town please just listen a bunch of strange things happened since I got here think about it phone calls on a deadline old lipsticks that don't go bad Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for 10 years and now this all good reasons to get out of there we both agree that saving your skin is top priority right I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true. It, it, really? Are you sure there's no one? I mean, you could have just looked at the one place at the time. <laughs> Somebody could have been in another place at the one time, and you're not looking at over at that place. The That room looks like the theater on Outlast. Actually, it kind of does look like... What? There's a church too. What are you trying to tell me? Hi, honey. Your father. He spent years in there, in total solitude, with the weight of his family and Rachel on his conscience. He he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. I can't believe you said something like that. Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... 
Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him. And I'm telling you... I met you, him. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Come on. I'm, I'm getting stressed with their conversation. It's nice to see a well-lit room on a horror game that just means that the real horror is not in the dark. <sighs> Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. You know, secret story. Some people room. think she didn't commit suicide. And some even think she's still alive. Maybe if I think through my steps, I can work something out. First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true... It might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide. No Timberline money. No, no, no. No, I'm just being paranoid. And then... Everybody just agreed? There'd be no reason for her to, to live in a fucking here. underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Leave this game reading. Are you gonna redeem a horror game? Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. So we must play the music box. It's gonna open something. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? Then you and Mom started fighting. Voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? There is one horror game I want you to play with some people or someone. <gasps> Can I handle that though? <laughs> Do you think? What horror game would that be? In this chair. Let's keep going if you want. Together. So, I looked around the entire hotel. And if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor. Am I near the, the end? Attic. 
That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if... someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under... another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe... me. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the it's not scary. The Are you sure? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. So, um, apothecary anyway? Oh, I haven't. Where's the mezzanine? Why is there... This looks so occult. Look at it. In this bathroom. Suddenly things are so scary because of this. There's the church. I haven't watched any anime recently. What's the mezzanine? Should I be in this room? Well, it, it's actually a, a whole old hotel. Yeah, this is actually an, an old hotel. Basically, the MC is the daughter of the owner. So, she just inherited this hotel after the dad died. Where's the mezzanine? Attic, museum. Overlooking. Oh, there's the mezzanine. So somewhere at the main floor. By the hall. Okay, I'm gonna go down there then. Oh. So I'm by the hall. The mezzanine should be somewhere around here. Behind this doors, right? If I'm not mistaken, because these are the offices. We're by the offices. So there should be like a hall outside. This is the fireplace room. 
Ah, so we're actually going the other way around. This is... If we go here, this is going to the ballroom. This is the hall. What's this box? So if we go up, yeah, this is the mezzanine. There is a dying rose in 217. See, these are the offices. Am I reading the map right? Huh. I'm here. Right. The hall is over here. Oh, this one. I found it. All the hidden halls in this. Ah! I'm not going in there. What if they move? You see? Do you guys see this? Or are you seeing ads? Because um, something's happening. Why are there a bunch of mannequins? <laughs> Isn't this in one of the rooms? Irving? Nicole Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed but why my hockey stick hello hello oh god why isn't he answering irving i swear i'm not kidding this is a huge deal if you can hear me it's time to make that phone call excuse me i don't want to stay here any longer the mannequins are freaking me out where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Why didn't you answer? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What doors are you talking about? Oh my god, Jeremiah, look! Hello? Hello, Irving. He really is, maybe he really is the mastermind. 
It's time. Yeah, we have to go to the second. Second floor, I guess the the only room like left to discover is the sealed door room. Let's let's see. What do you guys think? Irving. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? Irving what was mean? here. That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory, painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from Who the Who is dark. Irving? A photo, really? A hairband. A lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. Yeah. Yeah. He's... He, he was monitoring... This path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. He was living here. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. He was the one who took my car keys. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind Nicole's all of them. Data. No. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. Calculated the... Only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. He even predicted, How like, when you? the storm would be, so that I'll be Over stuck here Over the last here few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I, we, did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. What do you want to do now? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. So Rachel is his sister? A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. Yeah. A human being that saw her. I actually want to oh, open the door now. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love 
It's too much. And it will be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Hmm. Irving, where are you right now? Probably behind the day this. My sister door. paid with her life for her love. We all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you. We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events as you'll understand as you've already begun to understand for the first time in years I depended on someone oh <laughs> and this is the result that, that kind of sounds familiar to get to where I wasn't able to go you will be the new witness. You owe it to us. Uh, you thank you for the water. To her. Oh! It opened by itself. Where is Irving? Did he set this up? For us? This room is actually kind of pretty if you think about it. have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that... So Irving... from these hallways. Wait, I'm so confused. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied, we listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? Their 
is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. He's the one who also called. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Huh? Where, 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 where? Hoi! Rachel and Leonard playing. There's still another key. Leonard kill Did Leonard kill Rachel? Do you think it happened like that? It wasn't a suicide, it was a murder. How did they do this? Inside Claire's car? Oh, door bug. Can't I valley? No, I can't. I have to go through the whole thing. Was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. 
I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain, maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything <laughs> I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. I refuse to keep listening to you. I just want to get out of here. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. The it's person in the, the phone door. is sus. Very sus. So what do I do with that? What's in the blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it. I wash it where? I use the laundry? Where do I wash it in a... Oh, that room with the nice bathtub? It just says wash it. Where do I wash it? Isn't that Irving? Yeah, the guy on the phone has always been just Irving. Can't use this bathtub. He's after revenge. I don't know what he's after anymore. Revenge, closure. This is the scary room. How come even the painting is different? Wasn't it the painting of a wolf before? He even took care of replacing the the painting on the walls. And where what to do with the blanket? Wash it. Wait, how? all the cleaner here and the um stuff like where do i wash it i believe that's the bathroom that i've been using where to wash Kitchen sink, faucet. Hmm. Koi gut. <laughs> um.
Where do we where do we wash it? Um, so we got kidnapped. Well, more like we were lured in. Yeah, we were lured in this hotel. You know, when when the f Leonard, the father, owned this hotel, and he was Nicole's dad, the MC, the the person we are playing as. So he lured her here. Because of the father's funeral, yeah, there was a father's funeral. Um, um, she inherited the hotel, so this guy called Jenkins uh, said to come come back to the hotel, check it out. Oh, there you go. We're in the laundry room. Do I wash it here? Oh. I'm so tired, my grammar. I don't know. I am. My I'm tired. Oh, there's the sink. Okay, I can use the sink. So yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, we were lured here by our father's death, and then right in the middle of the inspection of the hotel, we we're supposed to be. Wait, what happened? Eh? Eh? Game bug. Game bug. Oh. There's the braces. How could I have forgotten? I I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. The kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Missoula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You, and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. So the they cleaned... What? Claire said she'd cleaned it. She cleaned it. Go on. They killed the girl? I, I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. 
and the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Sad for the man! Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I I don't. <laughs> She's crying now. Hey poor Chi thank you so much for following. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. So her mom killed Rachel. She killed Rachel. Yo, her mom killed Rachel. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. So they were like she two pieces of the puzzle. To get to the bottom of it. To... Rachel. They didn't know what was going on. They were both kids. Is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... We can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen. We can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so where do you think he is? You're the only one left. Don't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's why, as far as the eye can see, beyond the mountains. You, you left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll, you'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again in another time beyond this horizon of events. Everything is... Irving? Irving? I, I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Is that you? Robert Irving, did he just...
Yes. They thought it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. But this kind of decision... I'm back home, and I have to stay here forever. Wait a sec, let's talk. There's also my feet. <laughs> you know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the Nicole's stars. talking to herself. You can't see them during the day. What? But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. In the lake? Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Oh, God. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Anger shouldn't rule our life. Who's she's she's talking to herself and answering herself Sweet. and she's stopping herself, but at the same time she's doing the stuff. You I don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. Stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. I got a whole plan now. No more anger. <laughs> so that's the whole story, I guess. Sometimes I follow you, but only in my dreams. When I forget that you're dead, speak to me in words unspoken. It was a short game. Mother's Vicious was like, sell the hotel, give part of the money to Rachel's family. She was like kind of guilty at some point. Okay, so here's, this is, this is really what happened, okay? Just, you know, in case, because you weren't here in the first 
half of the story it's really what happened so um basically you're you're playing as nicole uh leonard's your dad and the initial story was the dad was in this relationship with a 16 year old girl named rachel forster um on the night of your hockey game nicole's hockey game rachel's committed suicide she was nine months pregnant she committed suicide and everybody in the town was devastated the mother was devastated she took nicole and went away so after 10 years the dad died and he left the hotel to nicole so now this attorney jenkins called her tells her that you have to check the hotel you have to inspect it you know it's it's the law that you inspect it before you sell it so she comes back to the hotel she actually doesn't want to come back to the hotel and she was stranded there because of a snowstorm that ran for days and the only person that she is in contact with is this guy who introduced himself as uh as an agent named irving so for those days irving kind of like um he earned her trust you know he was the only company that she had for days and eventually he he we found out that irving's this guy who's creepily living on the second floor closed off section of the hotel uh probably monitoring everything we're doing and um basically he wanted to know the truth how his sister died and nicole remembered it it was actually her mother who killed rachel she didn't commit suicide after all her mom killed Rachel and threw her body off um threw her body body off the lake. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why that's why there were papers like that. It was it's actually a pretty pretty short game very strong narrative um heavy story yeah i guess i guess it was the kind of game that i was um i i i could play it's it's nice to be able to finish a game again for once even if it's just a short game thank you guys for staying with me during that playthrough everybody who's there in chat thank you so much um Jeremiah, thank you so much for keeping me company while I was playing. That really helped a lot because, you know, the atmosphere could have, could be really creepy. There were a few jump scares. <laughs> I don't know about the, you know, whenever the day transitions to the next one. Always gets me. I get surprised a lot. Yo, thank you. Thank you. It was, it was nice. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed it. It was pretty heavy, though. Especially the story. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I won't be raiding. I'll just be ending the stream. Thank you so much for keeping me company tonight. I hope that y'all had a good night. And I hope you all have a good rest. Um, I might be off tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'm probably going to just sleep. Thank you guys again for keeping me company. Good night.